In this video, we'll see how to overlay knowledge on a web page and add a new node. When you land on a page of interest, the first things you'll want to do is re-knowledge the page. Click the add-on button and make sure you're on the right project. You can always change it here by clicking changing project and select the, the one you're interested in. Next, click overlay knowledge. The system will then use a combination of natural language processing or NLP and the knowledge already in your re-knowledge environment. Note that the system will always look up and overlay all your known knowledge, regardless of the project. NLP discovered entities have dotted line around them, while non your known knowledge will appear in a tick block. You can switch the NLP overlay on and off, like so. Using the wheel tool, you can then add new entities to your knowledge base. You can either select an NLP entity or free select text and then click the plus button. Navigate to the subclass you're interested in, in our case company. And this will open the node scorecard, which is automatically pre-populated with the node name. You can also add AKAs for different spelling or aliases. The system will use the node name and AKAs to identify the entities on the web pages, and it uses exact matches. Depending on the information available on the web page, you might also be able to fill some of the properties information. Here, for instance, we can add that we are a software company, and then we can save the node. Once you save the node, it will be available in your Anatikova workbench and your web browser add-on. For instance, if we go to this page and re-knowledge it, we can see that the company is now being picked up and we can open the scorecard by clicking the edit button. And if we found new information, we can just add it on the scorecard, like so. Note that every time you add or modify data in the scorecard, the system will automatically record where you made the changes, giving you a complete audit trail. So here, for instance, we can see that this particular information was captured on this linking page. While here, we can see that this particular information was captured on the Trend Scout uh, pages. Finally, if you need gathering information on ephemeral pages or pages that are likely to be taken down, you can always click the snapshot icon, which will save automatically a picture of the entire page.